Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family. On behalf of Kathy and Brian and their children, Sage, Courtney and Bobby, we want to thank you all for attending today and helping us celebrate this renewal of a wonderful friendship and taking the vows to enter into the holy order of matrimony. But before we get there, I have to tell a short story about our dear friends and how they came to this moment. Evidently, uh, some time ago, they were online doing the internet thing and decided that we ought to meet up. What do you think about that? And I don't know, it's someplace secret from me. They met and they talked all night long. And according to Kathy, Brian told stories. Now, who, who would think of that? Brian was saying things like, oh my God, the wow factor. You're so beautiful, you're so lovely. And she was enamored as well. How handsome, what a strong man. Look at those muscles. I get a phone call and they say to me, we need to talk to you, Bob, can we come over? I said, well, sure. But 15 seconds later, they were at the door because they were parked at the curb. <laughs> And they said, we want you to officiate. I said, what do you mean by that? And Brian, in his own blunt way, said, well, we decided we were going to get married. And I said, well, oh, that's wonderful. Oh, my God. And I was startled, and I thought to myself, why? Why? As you may have done the same thing. Why? What are, these kids have been together for six years. Why now? And basically, they said, it's time. And it was time time for them to throw off the old and bring on the new, to blend two families, to have Sage, Courtney, and Bobby all together with them as they are here this day. And it was something that, that I was touched by and decided, well, I'll go in the kitchen and I'll grab a bottle of wine, let's celebrate. And for all I knew, they could have I uh, thought that I'd gone to the state store. I mean, and I, I came back in and they were standing in the, uh, excuse me, they were sitting in the living room holding hands, staring at each other. And I thought, wow, this is, this is crazy. I can't believe it. And I was, I was so thrilled for them. Brian, never in a million years would I ever think I would get married again. But here we are, we are about to be married today. When I first met you six years ago, I would have stayed and talked with you forever. We hit it off immediately, and you were exactly what I needed in my life. You were so upbeat, talkative, funny, and full of stories, not to mention super handsome and had an amazing build. Learning all about your volunteerism with the fire department for 17 plus years, plus EMT services, speaks volumes as to your character and total selflessness. The amount of time you put in helping others through firefighting and all the classes you teach truly makes you a hero. Even if I seem to get upset at time with all the fire calls that you do go on. <laughs> your online profile indicated how extremely important your daughter was to you, as well as how important your family was to you. I couldn't have agreed with you more. And as you know, my kids are my world and have always meant everything to me. We share a lot of the same values in life, but what is most important. You came into my kids' lives and not only existed, but you jumped right in and totally became involved in every aspect of it. And I will forever be proud to become your wife. You make me want to be a better person and role model for my kids. You make me and my family always feel safe with you in our lives. In closing, I want to marry you for all the reasons above that I've stated and to seal this relationship and marriage with all of our family and friends witnessing my love for you. You were my rock, my soulmate, and my best friend, and I am beyond excited to spend the rest of my life with you. The very first time I saw your picture, I thought you were beautiful and wanted to meet you. When we talked for the first time, I never wanted the conversation to end. When we met for the first time and you got out of the car, I suffered from the wow factor. You looked amazing, better than expected. When we sat down and started talking, I thought we clicked. 
when you got up to use the restroom, I honestly thought you were leaving. Then you came back and I was so excited. We talked and talked. I didn't want the night to end. I couldn't wait until the next time we would see each other. Your heart is big and full of love. You open your heart and home to Sage and me. You treat Sage as your own and your children accept her as a sibling. We have been through some tough times together and you're a fighter. You never give up and I admire that about you. From the very first time we met, we've been making memories. You always say, it's about making memories and that we have. A lot of good and some bad. On May 3rd, 2019, I'm willing to sign a contract to continue making a lifetime of memories.
the art of marriage. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in one another. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, but it is being the right partner. I, Brian Patrick Chalfont. I, Brian Patrick Chalfont. Take you, Kathleen Ann Kelly. Take you, Kathleen Ann Kelly. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to be your loving and faithful husband. I promise to be your loving and faithful husband. In prosperity and in need. In prosperity and in need. In joy, in joy. and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And now, Kathy, continue to hold Brian's hands and repeat after me. I, Kathleen Ann Kelly. I, Kathleen Ann Kelly. Do take you, Brian Patrick Chalfont. Do take you, Brian Patrick Chalfont. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to be your loving and faithful wife. I promise to be your loving and faithful wife. In prosperity and need. In prosperity and in need. In joy and in sorrow. In joy, in joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Inasmuch as we have all witnessed Kathy and Brian exchanging vows and rings before our God and these witnesses by the powers vested in me by the, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I can now declare you man and wife. And you may kiss the bride. For the first time anywhere, it's Kathy and Brian Chelfon.
in and out just like you should We were all